Hello, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. We're going to get started in about 60 seconds. I want to thank you for being on time. We have some people straggling on over the next minute. So we're going to give them one more minute, and then we're going to start. You're in the right spot. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming on the webinar. This is John Jamison. I'm going to be your host this, uh, on this particular webinar. Um, we're going to get started here in about 30 seconds. People still coming on? 30 more seconds, we're going to get started. Thanks so much. Welcome, everybody. This is John Jamison. I'm going to be your host for this brief webinar. Uh, very excited to have you with us. Very excited about this topic and the program that we're going to talk about. Very important topic that doesn't get hardly any discussion in the normal financial world, and we're going to change that tonight. So we're going to talk about long-term care. It's not an exciting topic. Uh, and frankly, it's, it's a scary topic. Nobody really wants to talk about it. And yet, it doesn't need to be the big bugaboo that everyone makes it out to be. We're going to give you guys some real life strategies tonight, how to handle it, um, and be prepared. Now, it's uh, anything I, I discuss is about seven gears of riches. We're going to talk about that. Just a little bit about me. A lot of you already know a little bit about me. Many of you don't. So, if you don't know who I am, again, this is John Jameson. Um, I've been in the finance, insurance, real estate world for well over 25 years now. I own a company called Perpetual Wealth Systems. Wrote two best-selling books. Uh, number one bestseller. One was the Perpetual Wealth System. The other one is Wealth Without Stocks or Mutual Funds. That's the most recent book. And I've been very fortunate. I've contributed uh, articles to AOL, CNBC, uh, Investors Business Daily, CNA, all kinds of different publications and online publications and print publications that have um, shared my article with their members and their readers. I'm very excited about that. I've been able to reach a lot of people that way. I've been fortunate to speak at hundreds of events uh, to thousands of people all across North America. Every major city in North America I've been to as a speaker and a trainer. Again, extensive experience in business, finance, marketing, insurance, and real estate. And I've been fortunate. Life has been good and businesses have been good. I've been involved in many millions of dollars worth of financial and real estate transactions. And I tell you all that not to pump my chest because uh, after all, who really cares? But if you're going to consider um, following some of my advice this evening, it, I think it's important to understand my background and where I come from and a little bit about me. And of course, you can always do more research on your own. I know you'll do that. Again, these are the copies of my two best-selling books. The Perpetual Wealth System was the first book. Most recent book, Wealth Without Stocks or Mutual Funds. If you ever decide to invest in one of them, buy Wealth Without Stocks or Mutual Funds. Because everything in the Perpetual Wealth System is also in the second book, along with about 14 other chapters uh, that are not discussed in the Perpetual Wealth System. So definitely the flagship book at this point in time. Very proud of it. I hope you'll pick up a copy. That's not what this is about tonight, though. We're not going to talk about uh, selling books. Of course, we're going to hope you pick up a copy, but we've got much bigger things to talk about tonight. Not only do I want you to understand a little bit about me, but I want you to understand uh, some experiences of people who have dealt with me both as clients and as business associates. So the first one you see there, uh, Jack Canfield wrote me a really nice testimonial. And if you don't know Jack, um, his name might not ring a bell. Maybe it does, but his book series probably will ring a bell, Chicken Soup for the Soul. And he looked at one of my manuscripts and said, you know, John, I don't, I've never been taught a lot of this stuff. And this is a very successful multimillionaire author, speaker, all kinds of things. So he was kind enough to actually write that testimonial for the cover of Wealth Without Stocks or Mutual Funds as it sits today. Um, also have some clients on here. Uh, we're going to take the time, you know, you can take the time to read them. I've got tons of testimonials I can ship out to people. I just want to give you a little taste of, you know, four of them of clients and people who've dealt with me in the past. So gives you a little bit about me a little bit about people who have dealt with me, and you can get much more information on me and many more testimonials and phone numbers and all kinds of things. Because it's, you know, if you're going to talk about um, high finance and a lot of your personal wealth, it's important to understand that um, you know, you're dealing with a legitimate company, a legitimate person who has a track record. And I'm happy to show you that track record anytime you need to see it. Anything I talk about is based around the seven years of riches and the four wealth trains. I call them basically 11 pillars of wealth. Today, we're going to talk about one of those particular gears. All the, I've talked about topics uh, on YouTube, 
articles about all seven gears, but the one we're going to talk about today is long-term care. It's the only gear that can destroy all the rest. Long-term care, I've seen it wipe out more um, pools of wealth, make people broke, leave money, uh, don't leave money, any money, uh, excuse me, any money behind for their family, and they fully intended to do that, and because there was no preparation made, and it doesn't necessarily need to be that way. We're going to give you a couple different strategies that you can use to get that gear under control and help all the other ones move seamlessly together. And if gears operate together and they're well-oiled, they can operate almost perpetually. So the long-term care gear, what could we do to protect ourselves and our spouse and you know, and indirectly our families um, from burning up all our wealth? Well, the first option, and unfortunately it's the option that most people choose, to do nothing. Let's pray, hope, and wish. We're going to talk more about that. It is an option. It's not a good option. It's not an option you should choose. But unfortunately, a lot of people will choose that option. Number two, purchase a traditional long-term care policy for you and your spouse. We're going to talk a little bit about that tonight, show you the, the pros and the cons of doing that. The third one, which is really what the main crux of the webinar is, is to use what's called unlimited asset-based long-term care. It is a newer program that we're very excited about, um, very unique in the marketplace, and I just had to bring it to you once I found out all the details on how it worked. So the first option you have, hope, pray, wish. Let's talk about some statistics. If you live to be age 65, or if you've already lived to be age 65, 70% of us will need some kind of long-term care after age 65. So if you have a spouse that lives to be 65, that's a 70% chance that both of you will need long-term care. Now, it might not be, some people might need a facility, some people might need home health care. There's all different levels of long-term care but 70% of us are going to need some form of it after age 65. So to hope, pray, and wish might not be the best way to be able to, to combat that. You're really rolling the dice, and the odds are auto automatically massively stacked against you, especially if you're a married person. Right? So the odds are overwhelming that you and your spouse will need some type of long-term care. Why don't we just prepare for the probable eventuality? <clears throat> Excuse me. Month the average monthly cost today of a long-term care facility, if you have to go into one, a semi-private room is more than $8,300 per month. That was in 2016. Semi-private room, $8,300 a month. That's a lot of money, folks, and that's for one person. That's not for a couple. That's not for you know, uh, a spouse. According to General Worth Financial, the national average by 20,000, I'm sorry, 2026 is going to be almost $11,000 a month. Okay? Guys, that's $130,000 a year just for care for one spouse. And if you and your spouse both need it, whether it's the same time or different times, that's $260,000 a year of costs. So you know how much money you have. How long could your funds hold out before you become in real trouble and have to change facilities and rely on the, the kindness of strangers and the kindness of Uncle Sam? It doesn't take long uh, burning through a significant nest egg with those kind of dollars. How about 20 years from now? Now, maybe in your early 60s now, you're in your mid-60s, maybe you don't need any long-term care until you're in your mid-80s. National average by then is expected to be almost $15,000 a month. So again, for one person, that's $180,000 a year. And if both you and your spouse need it, that's $360,000 a year of long-term care costs. Now, you know how much money you have. If that were to befall you, and that's not going to be for everybody, certainly, but if that were to befall you, how long could you and your spouse last at $360,000 a year? How long will your funds hold out? Only you know that. But as a national average, I know the funds are going to drain very, very quickly at $360,000 a year. So if you want to do the hope, wish, and pray, here's kind of what you could do. You could try to hide all your assets, <clears throat> put them in family members' names and trusts. A lot of people try to do that. There's all kinds of time frames with that. You have to do it years before. It has to be done properly. And folks, when you see the cost of long-term care, the government doesn't want to pay for that. So they're going to do everything in their power uh, to see that they're not going to pay for it. And so if you try to do anything uh, you know, under the table or not above board and hide assets, good luck. It's not, a, it's not a, what, what I want to spend my time doing in my later years is dodging Uncle Sam. <clears throat> so in fact, what you're doing is try to pawn off the expenses, your expenses, to Uncle Sam and claim poverty. Is that the way you want to live your life? Is that the way you want to live, especially your later years, dodging Uncle Sam, pleading poverty, hiding assets, no, really nowhere to be? Once you are broke, if that should befall you, you have some rich family members who will take care of you. 
at $180,000 a year in a facility. Can you go move in with them and they'll full-time carry you? Probably not, right? Do you want to rely on the kindness of strangers, the kindness of Uncle Sam? I don't think you do. Last but not least, and I do have a lot of clients that said this to me in the past, well, John, if I ever get that way, I'm just going to end it all. I'm going to grab my Smith & Wesson and end it all. And in fact, unfortunately, there are a few people that choose to do that, but the vast majority of people are not going to do that. It's just kind of bravado and it's talk, but we all want to live generally as long as we possibly can, um, as long as we can function in dignity and, you know, we have our wits about us. And hopefully that'll be the case for all of us. For some of us, it won't be. But is Smith & Wesson an actual answer? I don't think so. And I don't think you do either. So option number two, purchase a traditional long-term care insurance policy for you and your spouse. And there's nothing wrong with that option at all. Could be a great solution, but you have to have the cash flow to be able to afford it um, or the assets to be able to sell off to pay for those uh, premiums. And how much will that cost? Depends on a lot of factors. Length of the policy, how old you are now, when you actually need the policy, what, how good is the policy, how much will it pay, how much will it cover? So there's all kinds of things that go into the cost. But as you can see, with the cost, potential cost for long-term care, do you think the premiums are inexpensive? No, the premiums are quite expensive. And they, most of the long-term care policies you're going to get will generally cover you, and there's, there's variations. You can extend this for more money. But generally, they cover you for three, term, for three years. Okay? So once you start your long-term care pay, they'll cover you for three years. After three years, you're generally out of luck. And then you're back to the kindness of strangers, uh, rich relatives, Uncle Sam, so forth. There's exceptions to that rule, but the vast majority you're going to see are going to be three-year coverage terms. Now, to be fair, most people, once you need long-term care, the average is a little under three years that most people survive. But again, that's the average. doesn't mean that there's not all kinds of people that are there six, seven, eight years in long-term care facilities. There's also people that make it six months and everything in between. So, you know, could three years be enough? It could, but it also could be woefully short leaving you in a really tough spot at a time in your life when you're probably most vulnerable. So according to Kiplinger's long-term care premiums, the rate hike in 2015 was average of 50 to 60% for those policies. So those, what people don't understand, those policies get more expensive all the time as you move forward. Very similar to a term insurance policy that gets more expensive as we age, so do most long-term care policies. So something that started off at age 65 at $10,000 per year for you and your spouse to very easily turn into $16,000 to $25,000 a year, and that's usually when you can least afford it. When your income's less, when you don't have the ability to go out and make more money as you do when you're younger, um, you can really get priced out of the market, and there comes a time when you might not be able to afford it, so you stop paying into it, now you don't have the coverage, and all the premiums you paid, they're almost always all gone. All right? So you can see that it's not gonna be hard to spend over a period of time, $150,000 to $200,000 out of your pocket just for the premiums for a long-term care policy, and you might be one of those that never need the coverage, or your spouse might not ever need the coverage, or they need very little coverage, and so your, your spot, um, benefit could be very limited, and you're still out lots of money for those premiums. Very similar to a car insurance policy. If you don't get in an accident, they're not giving you your premiums back. Now, there are some, some commercials out there that will give you a safe driver bonus and things, but we all know they're not giving us our money back. That's what insurance is all about. Um, they need the people not to go get in car crashes so they can spend their money on the people that do get car crashes. The exact same principle with any insurance and long-term care is no difference. The insurance carrier is going to keep that money. Now, I want to talk to you about some asset-based long-term care. So how does this work? What well, sounds fancy, how does it work? You're going to reallocate a portion of your assets to buy a specifically designed life insurance policy. Now, life insurance, I've heard, is really expensive, and I'm in my 60s, and Folks, this is not a traditional life insurance policy. This is a life insurance policy that is designed to be used for long-term care expenses. And as a bonus, it has a death benefit if you don't use those particular of uh, the long-term care benefit. So you might take a certain amount of money, it's called single premium, and buy one of these top types of policies. I'm going to give you real-life clients' numbers here in a second. You're going to buy one of these policies, and whatever your premium you put in the first year is going to buy you a bigger death benefit based on the money that you put in, okay? And that death benefit, not just the cash you put in, but the bigger death benefit could be used during your lifetime and your spouse's lifetime for any potential home health care. You can use it for home health care or if you have to go into a long-term care facility as well, 
All right, so let me give you a real life example of clients of mine who are setting this up as we speak. They're 61 years old. They've been fortunate to accumulate a nice nest egg. They've been successful people over their lifetimes. They've got a chunk of money and they want to live comfortably during, you know, they're only 61. They could live a whole, bunch, a whole bunch more years, but they also want to make sure they leave something behind for their family, uh, for different charities they, they're excited about and they don't want to have to burn through all their money for any potential long-term care. So with that in mind, and that's the goals that they have, with that in mind, we reallocated some funds away from the stock market into an asset-based long-term care life insurance policy, very specifically designed, very unique product on the market that we have access to, we're very excited about. So in their example, they put $170,000 as a single premium into this policy, which bought them a $325,000 death benefit. So if they need long-term care, either one of them, they're both covered underneath this policy, they could spend up to $325,000 to pay for that long-term care, and even more because of the way we designed it. So they put in $170,000, that gives them a $325,000 death benefit, and that death benefit can be used during their lifetime for long-term care expenses. Right? With a specifically designed rider, that we're building into it, they're going to have access to unlimited long-term care facilities or home health care, unlimited expenses, coverage for both of them. So if they happen to be the ones that defy the rules and they get into a long-term care facility and they live five, six, seven, eight years, they're going to be covered for all or most of that stay depending on what the, the final numbers turn out to be. We're going to give you real life numbers here. So with a specifically designed rider, they both could get as much as unlimited lifelong protection against long-term care expenses. Think about that for a minute. So here's the way it works out. Each could receive up to $9,800 per month in benefits if needed for as long as they both live. Okay, so $9,800 a month to stay, into, and stay in a facility if they need it, home health care if they need it. And again, if they both happen to have to go into a facility, and they're in there at the same time, that's $19,600 a month that they can both collect perpetually based on putting in $170,000. So if you've been wondering, well, I'm, extended, I'm worried about extended stays in long-term care facilities, it's gonna burn up all my money, I could end up broke, I could end up in a lousy facility because I can't afford it anymore. When I finally do pass away, I don't leave any money behind for my family. I know from clients, these are the things that keep them up at night. And rightfully so. You know, you've worked hard, you've been diligent. Um, and by the way, what if you don't have $170,000? Well, what do you have? You know, could we allocate something to provide some kind of a benefit that would pay all or a portion of those future expenses? I think we probably could. We could schedule, work out something that'll work on your budget, all right? So if you don't have $170,000, that's fine. What if you want to make sure you've got more coverage? Well, there's different riders we can build inside this policy to give you cost of living increases, you could put more money in to, for a bigger benefit. If you wanted to put $200,000 in, $250,000 in, you could certainly do that. There's all kinds of ways we can structure that. But if you've been worrying about these kind of things, worrying about um, the normal long-term care policies and how expensive they're going to get, consider asset-based long-term care. Now, let's go to the other side of the coin. What if neither spouse actually activates the long-term care provision? So you know if you've been paying payments on a normal long-term care policy, and with the vast majority of them, if you don't ever use them, you don't get the money back. So if you pass away in a normal fashion, whatever that might be, and you don't need long-term care, you don't need home health care facilities, you haven't used that benefit, you would typically be out all the premiums you put into one of those kind of policies. Here, because it's a life insurance policy, that $325,000 is a legitimate death benefit. So if you and your spouse pass away and you never use that, uh, the, uh, the long-term care benefit of it, your family's gonna get $325,000, and remember, you only put $170,000 in it. So you can't lose, and your family can't lose in this particular situation. You put up 170, you just kinda of let it sit there. Now, it does have cash value. If you need some of the money, you can borrow some of it out. It's not really why we're setting this up. We do do a lot with clients with investment-grade life insurance policies, and those are designed to, for long-term growth. There can all kinds of other benefits, You've probably watched a webinar from me on those. If you haven't, you can go to my website, which we'll come up to in a couple slides, and you can watch a recorded version. We do live webinars every uh, week to talk about those. That's a different animal, and it's set up for a different purpose than this particular life insurance policy. But at the end of the day, this is a life insurance policy, and when you pass away and your spouse passes away, 
you don't use the benefit for the long-term care, your family gets $325,000 tax-free to them. So it's, it's a win-win situation. Now, what if you use some of the coverage? You, know, you, you need some long-term care, your spouse needs some long-term care, but you never actually burn through the, the original $325,000. Whatever's left goes to your family. So whether it's all or a portion, your family gets the $325,000 or any unused amount. <clears throat> now, if you use past that three twenty-five, dollars then obviously there's nothing left. There is no more death benefit. So when you eventually pass away, your family doesn't get anything. But you also didn't have to sell off any of your other assets that they're going to receive to pay for long-term care. So it's a win-win-win, folks. No matter what happens, you're putting yourself and you're putting your family in a far better situation than just doing nothing or possibly just paying a regular long-term care insurance policy. That's going to be up, up to you to decide. So in summary, let's talk about a couple things. You and your spouse could receive unlimited benefits for long-term care coverage for an unlimited amount of time. So even though you you could spend through that $325,000 death benefit, you could receive many more times that if you need it for long-term care protection. Now with that particular option, that unlimited option will also come with a small guaranteed annual premium that can never go up. And it's nothing close as expensive as what a long-term care normal policy would be. And it's guaranteed to stay in place, unlike um, a normal long-term care policy. Now that's an option that you have for unlimited and uh, most of my clients go with that because it just makes more sense to do it that way. All right, so let's use it as an example. Let's assume you did this, or let's assume my clients do this, and somewhere down the road, they each need long-term care for five years. All right. So that would mean that that policy would pay out almost $1.2 million for their care. $1.2 million. Folks, they only put up $170,000. Now, is that going to be the norm? No, obviously insurance companies would go broke if they had to pay that out all the time. That's going to be the certainly minority of people. Um, a lot of people you know, won't use the, that benefit. They'll pass away years from now. The company will pay out three twenty five, dollars but they've also made money on the $170,000 that they had. If you want to know how could they afford to do this, sounds too good to be true, it probably is. No, it's just math. That's all it is. It's just math. Okay. So potentially they could pay out for 1.2 in this example. Now, if they live another longer, they're going to pay out more because it is unlimited. All right. Also, when you are, if you're collecting that benefit, that small guaranteed annual premium that you're paying goes away. When you're collecting the benefit, you don't have to pay that very small annual premium to keep the policy in force. Folks, that's, that's life-changing kind of stuff, okay? So again, in summary, if they never use the benefit, their family gets $325,000 when they both pass away, which is almost twice what they put in it, right? The 325 is tax-free. If they use a portion of the benefit but never exceed the 325, their family receives what's left, okay? No need to sell off or hide all their other assets uh, to help pay for care or try to get the government to pay for their care. No worrying about being a financial burden on your spouse or other family members. No having to rely on rich relatives or the kindness of strangers. Bottom line, it's dignity and independence guaranteed by simply reallocating some assets that are going to really let you sleep good at night and protect the rest of your financial fortress. So what kind of funds can I use to set this up? Folks, you can, they've got this designed so creatively that you can actually use IRA and old 401k money to set up this program. The structure is a little bit different, which I'm not going to bore you with here today just important for you to understand for today's discussion that you can use those kind of accounts. Um, and it's really tremendous that they've been making it available to qualified accounts. Qualified accounts are IRAs, 401ks, Roth IRAs, SEP IRAs. You can use all of those to set this particular account up. Structure's a little bit different, but the protection's the same. Okay? Now, what if you say, well, John, that's great, but you know, I'm only in my early 50s and I don't really have that much yet. I don't have 170,000 I can put into it but I would like to protect myself in the future, could I pay in over time? The answer is sure you could. You could do a 10 pay or a 20 pay into this, much less obviously than $170,000. Um, so any way you want to pay for this within reason is doable. Whether it's from a qualified account, whether it's from a non-qualified account, you want to pay all up front and call it a day, or you want to pay over 10 years, over 20 years, you can do that. So you can do a single premium or multiple lower premiums. We can get the program to work for you. Now, you will have to qualify health-wise, right? So if you're already in really bad shape or very ill or, you know, just in, in uninsurable, this isn't going to be a product for you. Now, 
there are other, other options that don't require you to qualify. They won't be unlimited, but there are some other options you should contact us about. I'm just not going to go into that tonight because I don't want to confuse the issue. But if, first of all, don't assume that you can't qualify health-wise. I can't tell how many clients have told me with all kinds of products, oh, they wouldn't qualify, and yet they did, and we were able to you know, make it work. But if, in fact, you can't qualify, there are some other options on there. Okay? So you can also use this money for home health care. Maybe you're going to have a full-time nurse come in, or you're going to have family members help you, but they need to be paid because maybe they're giving up jobs. Um, you know, there's, Obviously, it's expensive when this kind of stuff happens. Well, you can use this money for either a long-term care facility or care at home, and that's very important. A lot of policies will not allow you to do that. So I want you to take some action. Uh, again, what if I don't have that much to put in? Well, tell us what you do have. You know, reach out to us. We'll give you a questionnaire. Fill it out for us. And we'll come back to you with some suggestions on, hey, here's how you could do this. And we might have several different options for you that it's not your job to understand right now. It's our job to do that. But if it's, this sounds like something you want to do and you feel you have some kind of resources you can put into it, then by all means, reach out to us. All right? You can put in more, as we already said. So there are people listening to this that say, you know, I like that. It's pretty good coverage. But, boy, I wouldn't mind even some more. Uh, maybe I want to be at a better facility or whatever. Can I put in more than the 170000 Sure. And remember, based on your age, the amount of money you put in is always going to buy different death benefits. So if you're younger than that, the 170 is going to buy more. If you're older than that, the 170 is going to buy less, just like any other kind of insurance. Okay? So don't guess. Reach out to us. Let us run some numbers. We'll get together with you on a webinar. By the way, this is available um, nationwide. We're very excited about it. And we can help you almost anywhere in the country. We can help get this set up if that's what you want to do. So take some time today. Contact our office. Let us know, hey, I watched this webinar. I'm interested. I don't completely understand it, but I want to know more. And that's what we're here for. So here's what you can do. Email us at wealthwithoutstocks, wealthwithoutstocks at gmail.com. Okay, just let us know you want some more information. We'll schedule a call. Right. Or if you feel like it, call us directly, 586-944-0794. We're here Monday through Friday, <clears throat> 9 a.m., 5 p.m. Eastern Time. If you catch us when we're not here or we're on another line, feel free to leave a voicemail. Uh, you can call 24-7. We, may not, we not, might not be able to pick up the phone 24-7, but probably the best bet is email us and tell us a good time to call you, and we'll set something up. And I want you to think for a second is this could be great for you, but even if it's not for you, could it be for your parents? You know, would you like to protect your eventual inheritance? And I don't want to be ghoulish because it does sound that way, but this is real life stuff. We all pass away. Most of us want to leave money behind for our family. We don't want to burn it up. That's not why we worked our whole lives. So if you think you're going to get an uh, inheritance sometime and you'd like to, your parents to be protected and have them have dignity in their lifetime and also leave an inheritance, which, is, which I'm sure they want to do, forward this to your parents. Forward this to siblings, your aunts, uncles, grandparents. We can generally get these uh, done up to age 80 years old. It, it's a little harder the older you get, but we could certainly, um, we've got, they will write this on people up to 80 years old. So grandparents, friends. Um, forward this link, you know, help other people maintain their wealth. It's great for you to do it for yourself, but, you know, write down five people that you know need to at least see this. Now, if they decide not to do it, that's great, but let them make the decision. Send them the link and ask them to watch this presentation. I deliberately made it quick. A lot of our presentations are an hour, hour and a half, nothing close to that with this particular one. We designed it to be quick, what I call down and dirty. All right, so if you'd like to find us online and well, guys, we got way more training material than we have time to go through tonight. I'm going to give you some sources to find us. Number one, our YouTube channel. Go subscribe to it. We shoot new videos all the time. There's all kinds of great videos up there you can watch. MultipleWealthStreams.com. MultipleWealthStreams.com will take you to our YouTube channel. Watch some videos, and while you're there, subscribe. If you'd like to read uh, our art articles, we put them all on WealthWithoutStocksBlog.com. WealthWithoutStocksBlog.com. If you want to follow us on Facebook, feel free, facebook.com slash perpetual wealth systems. Facebook.com forward slash perpetual wealth systems. That last S didn't get highlighted. I just noticed that. Make sure it's plural because it's perpetual wealth systems to follow us on Facebook. And by all means, if you want to buy my book, I highly recommend it because all the videos you see, everything we teach is all based on wealth without stocks or mutual funds. I have, you know, for heaven's sake, go purchase the book. I think you can get the paperback for about 13 bucks, and if you want the Kindle, I think it's 8 or $9. Go to wealthwithoutstocks.com. We also have webinars on there of different topics. You can register for live webinars. Look at the tab at the top. You can uh, watch recorded webinars. You can watch all kinds of things, read articles. It's just a huge resource for anybody that's interested in growing or protecting wealth. 
or um, building a business. You always want to be a part of Wealth Without Stocks because we're always adding to it. So I want to thank everybody for attending tonight. Again, write down, first of all, contact us. Secondly, send this link out to at least five people, more if you would like. And let's get this word out there that we've got a solution that can really transform the future of families. And again, uh, my name is John Jamis, and I want to thank you for uh, tuning in. We're probably going to put this on a replay as well. Uh, but send this link to somebody. Let them watch it. Thank you for tuning in. Reach out to us. That's all I have for you tonight. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.